All right, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are ready for a little Thursday night trucking. It's good to see everybody in the house tonight, man. It's good to uh, get a lot of familiar names and some new ones. So welcome to you new guys. Appreciate y'all, man. Hope y'all uh, stick around for a little bit. Going to do kind of my, well, I won't say my, my infamous, but uh, definitely what I'm kind of no more known for on the ATS scene was our building drives, our chat building drives. So we're going to be uh, participating in that. So you guys, if you all are new, to stick around. You can help me put some parts on this thing, give me some direction on how uh, you might would want to fix this truck up. And if uh, enough people feel the same way that you do, then guess what? That's what I'll choose, and that's what we'll put in there. So uh, first and foremost here, let's go ahead and throw some shout outs to everybody. Uh, like I said, it is good to see y'all almost the weekend. Uh, all right, let's swirl back up top. It's good to see we got some uh, some guys from not around here. Uh, a lot of the guys here in the Dominican Republic as well as Portugal. Uh, so Luis Daniel, what's up, man? Uh, good to see there as well as Miguel uh, Duran. Uh, of course, El Trailero Billy, what's up, my friend? Good to see you, man. Uh, oh, and Mike, our Canadian, eh? It's good to see Mike in the house. What's up, Mike? How are you, brother? <laughs> I had to do that, man. Amoro Strong, what's up, man? All the way to Asheville. But not too far. Not too far. I've been to Asheville quite a few times. But uh, anyway, what's up, Amaro? Good to see you, man. Villavine as well. What's up, man? Fully Active. What's up? Uh, good to see you guys, man. Frog Man Truck Driver, Stian Tvet. What's up, man? Robert Shipley. Good to see you, Andrew M. as well. Sinister, what's up, my friend? Uh, Lonely Pancake, good to see you, man. Master Dork as well. Jacorian, what's up? Echo Drive, hello. Crazy Mixture, Highland Miller Wolf, what's up? Pete McClanahan, Daddy O Drip J, what's up, my friend? Good to see you there, Eddie as well. Pop Rocks of Miss People, uh, then say hey again. I'm trying to skip through and make sure I get all of our regulars in, and then we'll throw some shouts to some new guys. Very good, John. Well, I hope you enjoy, man. Josie Ann Coat, what's up? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Carlos, what's up, man? Good to see you there. Travis, hello. Uh, Jalen wants Jalen wants what's up man what's popping I don't know man I was hoping you guys could tell us here when we uh, build us a really 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 nice truck Bobby Leando what's up man Daniel Goodson all the way from uh, Charlotte I'm just kidding <laughs> what's up man all the way from uh, Charlotte North Carolina uh, what's up Cleveland what's up man how are you buddy Captain TC hello uh, where am I living I, I can't tell you that I'm living in a house house <laughs> didn't go to work today thanks for that there you go man justin t what's up all right let's roll this intro let's get to it build drive chat stick around you guys are good to help me build this old school brockway a little bit of history i'm not even going to go like too deep into this uh but this truck is really cool because it's kind of like ki's thing it's kind of like his specialty uh to roll these kind of trucks out so anyway uh don't go anywhere we'll be right back And for some odd reason, that button did not work. There it goes. Okay. All right. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Here we are. Brockway, very shortly. Uh, this is a little bit old, as you can see. Uh, 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 this is basically the old days of Mac. There you go. Uh, Brockway and Mac are so similar. And I think uh, Captain Crunch says it basically the right way basically max with a different dog on the hood yes because i think mac took over brockway um as a i guess i don't know if their brand was falling away anyway mac acquired them which is if you think about it this is almost identical to the superliner like the old school superliner it's almost identical to it so it's got a little bit different grilling and some bumper options sleeper options a little different but it is older so it's don't you don't have quite as many of the nice rounded uh, rounded edges and stuff but this is a typical K out shadow walker mod because the interior on this thing is absolutely slamming i love it it's old but it's still it's got this flair of newness to it that's just really really good this is one of those ground up trucks Think about chaos. He doesn't build a lot of stuff. I mean, sorry, he doesn't buy a lot of stuff. So pretty much all the things that you see on these trucks are handmade, um, hand done from the materials to everything else he's done through these with the chromes. Really, really nice. He's one of the very few guys that offers almost in every single accessory a painted piece, an aluminum piece, a chrome piece, and then a black piece. It's either matte or shiny. But typically, he's the only guy that offers that on almost every single uh, one of these mods. So 
Um, and he's been a friend. He honestly, him, Bart, and there was one other guy. Okay, I know. It was probably John Rudd. Those three were the three guys that I initially started working with with ATS. Um, and so we kind of like helped put each other on the map. So it's always good when Kai comes out with a new thing because um, he's a really good guy, um, and uh, and he's a really good modder as well. And he does he does a really good fair job, keeps his, all of his trucks and stuff up to date. Uh, which he did say now that he's got this bad boy finally finished and rolling out, that he's going to go ahead and finish up updating the truck. So if you do have Chaos Shadow Worker truck like the 9300, all that, you're going to start seeing some of his trucks come back into the stream now that he is going to be updating them. So just be on the watch out for those, um, and uh, and they should be good. So Shingo, what's up, man? Uh, it's good to see you guys, man. Josh Day got the ping around. Yes, 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 dude. It's good, man. Crazy mixture. What's up, man? Okay, it's 66. All right, you believe. <laughs> Let's see. I believe I was 19. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd be like, Google, when did Mac acquire Broadway? <laughs> anyway, pretty much the only thing that makes them completely iconic. Um, uh, yeah, well, someone said a different dog on the hood. Um, yes, and the grill. Uh, the grill essentially is a Mac. This is a, officially the 761, uh, but the Broadway has this big kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like this old over scold look here with the chrome across the mesh grilling. That's pretty standard of Brockway. If y'all remember the Mac, um, the Mac F700 uh, was the same thing with Brockway on that one. So, what's up, Timbo? Good to see you, man. Lushine. What's up? Uh, my back's doing a lot better, Andrew. It's pretty much back to normal now. So, J Camp, what's up, man? Good to see you, everybody. Uh, nice, John. Very good. Yeah, we do have some pretty – these are the tallest stacks, but we've got a ton of – he actually does something really cool with these stacks. So, uh, thank you there, J-Cap. Good to see you, man. Nothing like trucking after a whole week of trucking. <laughs> Cars, fair enough, man. Josh Day, welcome there. First uh, first gear member there, Josh. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, man. New sponsor up in the house. Appreciate that, buddy. Appreciate that. No Month number one, man. All right, so the way this basically works, if you guys don't even know this, I uh, don't know how this works – uh, essentially, all you got to do uh, is let me know what you want, one, two, or three, um, and then we'll try to make things happen. So, I do have plans, a step deck on this truck, um, so we can either look at it. So, if you guys want to do a day cap, uh, I'll let you guys pick out which cab you want to put on this. We've got the 60-inch sleeper, which is the big, the bigger one, and then we got 30-inch sleeper. So, we'll just go straight from the bottom, uh, from smallest to biggest, one, and there, two is the medium, three is the largest. And all you got to do is put it in here. That's all you got to do. Har says, no day cab. We'll pick another number then. And then me and the mods will figure out, what's up, Wonder? We'll figure out which, uh, which number is going to win it over, so. Yeah, Papa, the 93 is good, man. I think it's probably one of the better looking, I think it's one of the best old school trucks in, in ATS. <laughs> it was burnt to a crisp. That's no good. All right, so seeing a lot of big ones in here, and a lot of bar ones three. So all you gotta do is put the number in there, guys. All you gotta do, it's all you gotta do. All right, seeing some threes in there. It looks like threes are winning it pretty handily. Uh, I have no idea, Master Dork. I don't. Even, I don't know the the dual truck on the movie Duel. I didn't even. I don't think I've seen that. To be quite honest with you. Oh, there you go. KCK, he's like, you know what? I'll be different, man. Throw me a day cab out there. It's actually not bad. It looks better with the trailer. It looks kind of it looks kind of wonky without the with the 4x2, but you can do a 6x4 and an 8x6. So it's not all bad, you know, just saying. I mean, it's still pretty decent. But um we we can we can we can do uh <laughs> what did it say who's the lead though? <laughs> Looks like three's got it, though. Oh, no, no. Everybody's changing their mind. Everybody's like, oh, no. Well, let's see the 8 by 6 day cap. <laughs> I know. it. I don't even have a logging trailer in here, Andrew. It's so bad, man. <laughs> Dallas, what's up, man? Uh, Echo, I think it's 30 with uh, yeah, I mean, lifetime updates of the you know existing of the truck or whatever. Yeah, I have 30, I think, is what this one is. All right, so uh, oh, I always said ask you, Zalita. Yeah, yeah. I wonder who put that in there. No. All right, we had more people choose three, so I guess we'll have to throw in. Uh, we'll have to throw in that for another one. So. <laughs> All right, so we got two six by four, eight by six. Uh, we can do. I guess well, since we're doing the big one, we we'll probably need to do eight by six. Um, 
They're probably, and you can also find this on exclamation cash shadow walker. And you can also, uh, is this 33? I think it's 30 unless, you know, I thought it was 30. Okay. Anyway, 30 or 33. Hmm. Iced house. All right. So we'll leave the uh, six by four on there. I'll give you a little, uh, I'm going to pull this with it. So y'all, y'all still cool with the big sleeper? Okay. All right. Uh, engine wise, we have two. So uh, we have a couple in here, the 3406, 348, which I'm not a fan of. M11, yes. Um, so I want to try these. I don't, I've not listened to the, the Silver AV92. Um, so I'm interested to listen to this one. And if not, um, I know this, this 60 series sounds really, really good too. So we got choice either one of those, but I think we'll go with the AV92 just for the the classicness of that plus the styling of this truck. So I'm gonna throw that. We're not gonna have heavy loads on here, so uh we'll throw uh we'll throw a three fifty five uh in here. All right, so here's where uh you know what? Here, let's do this first. We'll go to the inside, we'll do the inside last. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um we can do regular stuff. Now here's what I was talking about. If you guys are looking here on your left side, look at all of these bumpers. Now some of these in true form with Gao are pretty much, you know, they're they're a mixture of everything. Uh oh. Hang on a minute. My track hours decided. Hey, I think I want to fall off the back of the monitor. Hey, thanks, FTG. Appreciate that. All right, let's get that set back up. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so here's what I mean. So everything is blues painted. You've got chromed. You've got. Um, I mean, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you got about six different reiterations of this bumper, and then in every different combination that you can imagine, everything from black bumpers to having chrome up here. You can have it all chrome. You can have it chrome plus aluminum. Um, literally, kind of everything that you really would ever want on this truck. So. Um, I can't, I don't even know how to even like, uh, how about this? Let's do, uh, you know what, actually, Cam Game, what's up, man? Uh, oh, you are wrong, it is 30. I thought so. I wasn't going to say anything, but you know, I was just like, all right, it's fine. <laughs> uh, all right, so here's what we got. Let me let me just look through, let me see the, the chrome. All right, so here's all of the chrome we have. The black and chromes are pretty good. So we've got this one. Um, which has got uh, room for all the flatline lights. That's typically what he has on these. So he's got all chrome here. What's up, the man above? We've got just regular old, uh, more of a heavy haul stick out. This almost kind of looks like the Western Star, to be honest with you. Then we've got this one with two bars up front, one thick bar up front. There's another one with these, like, whatever these things are. And we got a nice, a nice, much larger one there. Rounded front bumper, which is nice. It's got this little diamond plate black uh, backing piece right there. And then we've got some with the the turn lights. And I think that would be it. Yeah. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so about eight. Or no, seven. Yeah, so we got seven in different color combos. So if you guys want to, you know, y'all can pick a colored bumper and then a chrome this. Um, I guess we probably need to figure out what color we want to do this. He does actually feature some skins. and not, They're not all bad typically ki is not really a painter i don't know if someone made these for him but they're pretty standard but you know there's they're kind of old school classy skins you know um so he's got a couple in here and you can change um all the colors on these two-tone which is kind of nice i don't mind two-tone um i was going to try to find can't say i agree with the color uh, options on these I always, for some odd reason, I always like going a little bit darker on these, and I don't know. If it's, I don't know. Anyway, we got some of these in here as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I was always. Uh, yeah, I like this one. Well, we could do these in our FTG colors, almost uh, identical to our. What is that? We do white there, and then red. I think that's typically what we do. Shoot, I can't even remember anymore. It's been so long since we did some MP. All 
Yeah, let's see what else we got. We got two tone front corners, then we got this little loop around there. Da, 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 da. I'm almost thinking I might just do a red metallic. Yeah, I painted this red just because I thought, man, it might work. Yeah, I know pastel color will look good. It's I don't know, man. I have a hard time with pastels. Oh, people always hate the uh <laughs> people always hate the the past of the week colors. Um <sighs> I've done one before, and I've done some green before, which has always been a little bit interesting. It's kind of like that. It's just not too, it's not too in your face. Something like that, then we can add a yellow metallic on the back side. Eddie says no. Give me a color, Eddie. It's a pastel, but it's a pastel green, so give me a color. Black and red. <laughs> uh, well, actually, uh, there's a couple. There's a bunch of different stuff we could put over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's <a> brown. <laughs> Wait, you would color it brown. Yeah, Robert, not going pink. Something that matches the trailer. Well, we can make the trailer match this, too. Um, all right. Well, if y'all want to match the trailer, then we probably need to go back and look at red then. But I don't necessarily, I won't get the, uh, I won't get the pretty pastels with this one. It'll be pink. <laughs> Well, I tried green and people didn't like it, so uh, we could go. We could go red. I don't know. Is that too much red? I feel like that's just too much red. Rust, rust is a it typically is a pretty hard color to get. Um, it winds up coming off very copperish. So something like that. Um, that would be the only thing I've had. I'd have for you. And even if we did that, we need to put something more red on top of it maybe put like a little bit of nope 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 not that <laughs> uh, i don't know about this oh yeah 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 we're gonna change all that yeah we'll even change the bumper like we'll, we can if we if we go dark we need to chrome this thing out if you if we leave it light colored then we can afford some black pieces and some other pieces but yeah definitely we're gonna have to <laughs> teal <laughs> andrew says that looks great old timer says that looks great <laughs> let's see uh all right keep this one in your bank let's let's keep this as one all right i'm gonna save it right here all right so there's our color combo there's there's one because once we figure out a color then we can actually pick all the rest of the stuff all right that's kind of what i'm that's kind of what i'm waiting on so our second one was someone said a dark metallic which would be something similar to this and we could put a we could put a metal flake or whatever interior we put on this thing. We can do all kind of colors. So someone said put this one in there. Um, so we'll we'll put this one over here. And let's do someone said teal. I'm 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 not opposed to teal. So there's teal. We'll save it. And then let's see. I got I got blue in there. Oh yeah, we're gonna change rims and all that. Don't you guys worry. Don't you guys worry. It's kind of these these things really. We don't. We actually don't do a ton of driving with these. We actually do more um, kind of spending time just working over the truck, showing you guys everything you do, letting y'all make some decisions. And then we usually do a load or two um, at the end, just to kind of get it out and drive it. That way you guys can like you know see it in action. We will do dual stacks, yes. Orange. All right, so I got orange. Let's do, let's make orange our final color. So I'll make this a um, a very brilliant. Well, not too brilliant, but I'll make it a. 
And orange is going to be really close to the rust, but we'll give it a whirl. And if we add a red on top of that, it should make it look burnt. Yeah, orange is a tough one, man. That is really tough. That orange just does not really pop like I thought it would. <sighs> to get my eyes a look at it, it just doesn't. Yellow doesn't really look right either. It's either too green, too orange. All right, strike those. Let the eight ball decide. <laughs> oh, no, no makeup today there, Kels. <laughs> we are, uh, <clears throat> we just we just messed with our white balance to give us a little bit of a tan. <laughs> what's up, Rich Stone? How are you, man? Lucy, hello, man. Good to see you, bud. Miles, what's up? You'd see some familiar names in here as well. Uh, the gray, orange likes, yeah, big pumpkin. I know, man. Sometimes the solids. Let's let's do one other thing. Uh, I know I know Kales will like our pastel colors. Um, uh, what was this other one? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, let me let me just look. Let me just mess with a a couple of colors here. I don't. That kind of goes back to our old. That was kind of our old company colors there. We could still chrome it out. I don't know that I even like, I don't know. This, I think this just needs to be. It'd be nice if we had some writing and stuff and some logos up on it. Red and white, this one down south, could this work? I don't know. All right, here, how about this? Let's save it there. Okay, so here's our options. No, crap. All right, so we had this one. And we had the rust color, which we can we can pull this stuff chrome, so don't worry about the bumper. Let's take the bumper out of your mind. We're mainly looking at the cabin sleep. And then we've got this one, which this is probably my favorite. Just because it is. Um, and then we had the red, white, and blue one. I mean, sorry, the red, white, and black one on that one. Which is kind of like our old company skin. Actually, I think it was inverted. Actually, I think the white was up down here and the black was up here. I don't know that that necessarily makes it look any better, but that's what we used to have. <laughs> okay. All right. How about this? Uh, so let's go ahead and let's finish up our colors here. Um, so let's do that as a one. That is a two. That is a three. And the combo colors was a four. Okay. We can, we can rebel. One, two, three, four. So gray is one. Orange is two. Teal is three. And the color combo with the stripe is four. All right. So what you come up with? I don't know if there's teal in the 70s old timer. Oh, wow. There's a lot of fours in there. Threes and fours definitely have the lead. Well, surprised. I shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, it's runaway fours. It is. Okay. Hmm. Well, interesting, guys. Well, that makes it a lot more fun then because uh, now we just got to figure out which one we want to do here. So let's do – I just want to see what this looks like because it might be better for us to put on some uh, – might be better. And, all right, so here's what we got on the bumpers. I mean, just – so everything up here can be colored. I'm going to leave the grill as is um, so we can do chrome – Let's just, I'm going to throw some chrome stuff on it. Let's just see what it looks like. Um, the good thing about this, I'm kind of coming into some of this um, completely unobservant to what's, you know, what's been happening. So I think, now hang on a second. I think, yes, I did see these. I like these. He's got these like engine step stools so you can step up. I assume step up the bumper, step up here to work in the engine. I'm assuming that's why these little, these nice little grip plates were put up here, diamond plates, was up there to to stand. I don't know why they would have been up there to just be there as decoration, but it does kind of help break up the white. So, I don't know. Um, I think we cannot do this top line here. I don't think it does not look like it. We can take it away or make it all chrome. Yeah, in typical fashion. There you go. So you can do all aluminum or you can do all chrome. I should have known he'd do that. So there you go. That's what it is. 
Hey, Brian King, tough to get all the right colors. I know, man. <laughs> I know, man. Appreciate that, Brian. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes, man, he's going to make a break. And I'm still not a huge fan of this. I don't know why. I'm just not. I and mean, it's fine. You know, it's fine. It is what it is. It's cool. <laughs> Jose Antonio Conde Mendoza. What's up? K Paz all the way from Mexico. What's up, man? Good to see you, man. What's up, Bear? Good to see you guys. I did see there, Master. Yes. The A-Ball says, who knows? Well, that doesn't help us any there, Trip J. Knight Rider, what's up, man? All right, let's just look at it here. I've got Chrome. I'm going to set this back part to black. I kind of like the black. It just kind of breaks it up a bit. Um, I think these are mirrors. Do we do side mirrors? Bumper mirror. Do we do that? Yes or no? Just put it in chat. Now, we can tone the red down. Like a lipstick red. Is that what you want? Obama's red stick, red lipstick. No, finish. <laughs> oh, it's pretty tired, man. There's some more people going to have to. Okay, those are starting to kind of pull in here. Like, nah, nah, let's just keep it now. All right, y'all will really like it when we get the interiors. We're going to be able to, we're going to be able to fix this thing up on the interiors. Okay, uh, chrome mirrors. Let's just put them out there. Uh, so we got all these color combos. So we just need to find chrome and chromes. And the cool thing about it is he, um, there it is, all chrome, is he does a really good job of labeling all this stuff. And look at this too. Like he's got some really nice uh, mirror textures and stuff in here. Look at that. It's got all those nice little ribs and stuff on the back of it. And it's got the little dog up there. It's good stuff, man. Good stuff. Those little extra details, man. That's what makes a payware mod payable in my in my humble opinion all right chrome and aluminum i kind of like the aluminum straps though on it that's kind of nice be different if it was painted black but i like the i like that i'll keep that in there um so all right so we got those let's go ahead and do uh so we got three different da uh visors here um actually we have two so this is this you'll recognize this one because this is uh very reminiscent of the old mac uh, type R in the super liner. That's very remnant of their um, of their visors. So let me know which one you want. It's got a definitely much more of an old school look. I think that one's got a little bit, I don't know, I kind of like the slooped. But let me know what you like. Let's do a one for the uh, rounded. Let's do a two for the old school super liner kick. Let me know. All right, so y'all liking the old school. All right, old school wins it is. <laughs> Salito. <laughs> yeah, those Delito and the uh, eight ball are getting like this, guys. We're going to have to keep our eyes on them. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just wanted to see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, now that changes things. I didn't really go into this thinking that that would uh, – what does paint and chrome look like? Do we have paint and chrome? Oh, we do. Ooh, I like that because it helps break up all that white and the chrome that's up there. Y'all do that? We do that? What's up, Hog? I like I like the I like the cow painted there. That's that's nice. Downstairs said, Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, who's the Lito in the, uh, the eight ball, man? That must go way back. <laughs> way back. I mean, way back. All right. Um, I'm going to keep, uh, let's, let's keep, uh, let's keep, how about, no, not, not black. Let's do, can we do black up top and aluminum? Let's see. Uh, black, there's black and chrome. Black paint. Come on, come on. We don't have that combo. Oh, there it is. I like that. Um, stair steps here we got. We got, oh, okay, so the stairs will stay the same. So these are all for tanks. Uh, oh, okay. So, okay, tanks. Oh, man, I'm indifferent about this. I really don't care. Yeah, aluminum almost looks white. It's a cool color, though. See, I like this. I, I like I like having the uh, the aluminum here. 
I'm not saying that in so we you know we didn't I didn't even we didn't even pick a bumper man mm. where's the full chrome one there it is I was gonna throw that up there sorry <laughs> uh painted do we do painted or not let us, let me know on the tanks here painted uh let's do painted or chrome do uh do a one in chat for painted and do a two in chat for chrome Let's try that. Uh, we'll just figure out which strapping looks better. So there's the chrome tank, and then uh, there's the painted tank. It would be white, so it might be too much white. I think we need chrome down there. That's what I'm thinking. It's your boy, Eret. Eret. <laughs> All right, so y'all did chrome. Okay, I knew that was coming in. I'm telling you, Trip, you're not going to win against the eight ball. I'm telling you, man, him and Ozilito, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll add some roof lights, yeah. And horns, and yeah, we'll add the full the full deal. This is just where I next went to. Um, I feel like I feel like the, one of these has to be the other. Let's do aluminum there. We got aluminum straps. Uh, yeah, the white is. I know it's whiter. It's overpowered. So y'all, y'all want to go to uh, go there. So all right, let's do that. Let's add some roof lights up here. Um, and so we've got now these would be more reminiscent, I believe, of what these trucks would have had on them. Regardless, would have been these uh, bigger ones. I don't know though. I kind of no. Nah. I was gonna say I like those, but I don't really like those. Yeah, those are all right. Looks like we'll just keep the big ones on there. Let's go in. We'll just light it up. It's fine. Mark twos on the uh, real what? Really, Mark twos on the edges? Mark twos on the edges and MK ones in the middle. MK ones. So Mark One's in the middle, really? Well, you know what? I'll trust you on that. And then you've got uh you said the Mark II's in there. All right. So uh, add some horns in the back here so you can uh, not the Western Stars. It would be nice if the nodes were like Whoops. Be nice if like the eh, let's switch let's flip flop those. It'd be nice if they were a little bit offset. Um just so this this middle ones here could step out. We're we're planning on killing somebody with these horns. And I'm not gonna put lights on it, but you can put lights on the back corner if you want to. Um does have headache racks and then we can move on to the back here. So we've got a <sighs> Another one, we've got tons of these, um, whether or not you do all different kind of color combinations on these as well. So um, I thought to go with these, I, I thought, well, we might do chrome, but I would just go ahead and leave these. Uh, we'll just go ahead and leave these uh, full out chrome. And I was going to leave them open like that. Just do a simple headache, nothing, nothing crazy fancy. All right, let's talk about stacks. Here's what we got. Hang on, let me pull them up. There we go. All right, so the cool thing about this, depending on what you do, if you do a day cab uh, or if you do these, he's kind of doing this really cool thing where um, you can now take um, different pieces off and kind of put your own thing rather than having to make the entire pipe. He's just actually creating different pieces of pipe so you can kind of create your own uh, custom stuff. Now, we'll say this. Um, if you decide, like if you're doing a... Uh, what's the best way to explain this? If you're doing like a day cab um, and you want to, um, you know, let's say put one of these on there, we'll see it'll be like really short. I'm saying like you could do like some little short stubbies like right off the cab if you wanted to. 
Obviously, they don't look right here because we've got the big sleeper on there. But if you're doing a day cab, then you could have got a lot more options as to what you wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? So imagine the sleeper not being there. You could do, get away with it. But you also can come up here and add this one, which puts them just a wee bit higher. And then if you want to go ahead and add these in to the top, then it puts in a lot taller stack. So really, day cabs could go either way, but you also can kind of put some really thick stacks on this thing. Same way you've got aluminum and chromes on here. The chromes, obviously, though, are the best ones. Uh, we need left sides. Um, so he has a breakdown of right and left sides, which I really like the way that he stacks all of these together. So um, there's a really couple of cool angled ones out here that are really nice. I'm kind of, I don't know why I get partial to these, but I, I tell you what, I'll be honest with you, I don't know that anybody's pipes, quite frankly, look as good as KI's, to be honest with you. I mean, they just look good. Every single one of his stuff looks good. So, but anyway, uh, so we got the turnouts. These are the quick 45s. Uh, pretty much all of these are 45s, except for that one. And we've got a couple that are straight back. So, let's do, that's interesting. It's almost like an upside down flow master. Oh crap! All right, so let's do let's do. Hang on, let's do this. Let's do. Oh gosh, let me give you guys some. Let me give you guys. Uh, give you guys some choices here. Oh, I forgot you got backside. So if you don't like the forty fives, you can do backs. So you can do straight cutoffs. You can do mitered off. And then you can have all of them turn straight back, which is pretty cool too. All right, so chat, what do you think? Do you think back, or you want to do uh, you want to do you want to do the back, or do you want to do forty fives? I'm thinking forty fives. Yes, you can get, but yeah, you just have to do the same thing on the other side, Corey. Yeah, we'll just figure this one out, and then we'll uh, and we'll we'll put it in there like that. So. All right, we got some 45s coming in quick. 45s coming in quick. Lucy says back. Eddie says back. All of our sponsors are saying 45s. Yeah. Lonely says, hey, man, just put a 55 in there. Why not, man? It'll work. It'll work. <laughs> all right, all right. Jose Lito asked the eight ball what we should do. <laughs> ask, ask if we should put 45s on it. <laughs> Like, certainly, Joselito, whatever you say, bro. It wouldn't matter anyway if people want to put 45s. All right, 45s it is. 45s it is. Let's do, where's the left side? Here we go, left sides. All right, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking we put these on there. Just, I don't know. I don't know why I like those, those, those turnouts to me look the best. That one's just a little weird, being straight out to the side. <laughs> You'll have to wait, losing. He's he's indecisive about it there, man. That's all it is. He's just indecisive. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's <laughs> let's uh, let's put these on, and we'll match the other side. So I think I think we'll do those because those are the ones that I'll, I like the the shorter turnout. So now all you got to do is come back over here and pick the same thing on this side, and then boom! Whoops! <laughs> so <laughs> oh, we could turn them in. We could have negative forty fives. That that would that would be interesting. There you go. <laughs> Pancake's like yes, yes. Turn them in. Turn them in. Yeah, my bad. All right, so here's the here's the part that I love. I love, 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 love this. Because KI is like the best. All these modders, man, are good. But aren't really any of them quite as good when it comes down to just the sheer uh, way in which he is able to do the interiors. Um, so I... I am. Uh, I've always been a fan of his interiors. Ever since the 9300, that was always the one that always got me. I'm just gonna put a set of chrome steps up here, and I'm looking for before we go to the interior. Let's just let's just go ahead and put this on here. I'm gonna put some wheels because uh, this stuff is kind of self-explanatory. It's got some cool options in here, like literally, boom, boom, boom. We'll put the Brockaways down there. Put the chrome. 
super easy peasy. There you go. Tail lights in the back. That's right. Um, what color is that? It's going to be white. Okay, let's leave it black. So, yeah. Uh, what do we do here? What is, what's the old school form? And this is what I remember. Now, I remember these ribbed ones being the old school kind of form on these. I was looking to see if they have a ribbed all the way across, but it's a diamond plate. I'm not a big fan of diamond plate. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna lie, not a big fan. Diamond chrome just doesn't do it for me. Diamond chrome just does not give. There it is, right there. Actually, it's not a wanna be Mac. Actually, it was the thing that Mac wanted to be, because Mac bought it. So Mac must have wanted it more than they wanted it. So, just saying. Yeah, Brockway was actually before Mac, and then Mac bought Brockway, cause yeah. And then it took over its design, and its, uh, which is where we later on got the Mac Superliner and all that came from the Brockway. And also the Mac Cabovers came over from the Brockway Cabovers, which if you all remember the Mac F700 was a recreation, um, has the same exact options in the Mac side, has a very uh, exact same look of it, except when you change the grill, it becomes a Brockway because they assumed that one too. So actually it was the Mac wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the answer now. I know that was me. I had to put that one in there. Ribbed is cool. All right, let's do ribbed. Let's do ribbed. Uh, the headlights, the headlight bezels can be. The headlights themselves cannot be changed. Um, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. So you just got black, painted white, aluminum, and chrome. Um, don't know if that option would, you know, I don't know if that option would, why, why are these cut out? Should those be cut out? Are those brake coolers? Is that what they got these closed up for? They got them closed up for some brake coolers. They need to cool them brakes down. I gotta say, I actually kind of like not having those, but then again, you need something up there to, okay, never mind. I'm not going to get into that because we'll be here all night. And I don't have all night. So let's put on some beefy tires on this mug, all right? Let's do this. Uh, Smarties Wheel Pack, my favorite go-tos because of those right there. God, makes it look like a – I don't even know what it looks like now. Uh, two different sizes, two different treads. Got a nice road tread here and a very aggressive tire size here on the Michelons. But then we have the smaller tire. smaller one looks better. And I know what everybody's going to say. I know it would be better if you had, like, the old Trillix, you know, wheels and stuff on it, but I don't, so, yeah. I was trying to look through here. I've got, you know, nothing but these. I don't really want to put those in there. Polished. <coughs> Polish is kind of dull in ATS. It looks good in the store, but it's pretty dull outside. I'll do it, and if we decide it needs to be changed, we can, we can change it. No biggie. Nobody's hurt too bad. Uh, we ought to just put Mac. <laughs> uh, if I was able to pick a W900, which one would I pick? Sorry, I want to be rude, but I'm on the phone. Um, so Raz, the only ones, the only two I know are that in Texas. That's the only two know, and I know. And and I'll tell you this right now, um, John Rudis is going to be your best bang for the buck after this next update. If that answers your question, it should. You know what? I'm going to put caps on these instead of spikes. I don't know why I put spikes on there. All right. Um, we'll add these on there. We'll do polished on these two. Um, we do have to pick Michelins, though. So let's take, let's see, wait a minute. What do we take? Uh, Real Tires Mod off. There we go. We still will throw some chrome caps on that. Yeah, I wish I wish I'd have remembered that. We'd have done those wheels the same. 
Uh, there it is. Let's do that. And we'll throw a dull cap over the front there. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. All right. Now, let's roll some interiors, man. Thank you there, Logan. It's good to see you, buddy. Uh, it has a six. Oh, wait a minute. It has the AV92 Highland. Uh, that one in the Detroit. And I don't know what the AV sounds like, so we'll we'll have to check it out. All right, so here is the interior. I know it looks simple um, and uh, non-exciting right now. He's got all of the accessories for this stuff, you know, put in here. So if you guys, you know, dig that kind of stuff. So here's the cool part. Um, I don't know what he does with these interiors. I just like the way they look. They just look so stinking good. So... We can do in a plethora of different colors. We've got, obviously, black, red, and white. Um, black uh, is pretty, you know, pretty dull, but it is what it is. And I think you can pick that from the outside. So, do we do black interior, or do you guys want to stay and keep it white? Which is kind of grayish, really, to be honest with you. Actually, you know, hang on a minute. Let's look at this real quick. Let's hang on, because we might two-tone this. <gasps> what if we black and white? Can we do that? Is that too much? What's the red look like? Woo, that's, uh, that's bright. All right, chat, throw me some con throw me some uh throw me some 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 combos here. So we're thinking black, red, red, black, white, red. Throw me some in here. <laughs> Get a whiplash. My bad, Bill. <laughs> My bad, man. <laughs> White says red, the red, red, and white. The red, white. Ooh, the red, white is classic. I don't know if this. Yeah, man. It's weird because our stripe is red, but it's not the same color as red. We'd have to match the stripe up. You know what I mean? Breaker 1 9 for radio check. P. McClanahan, thank you there, man, for the $10 tip, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you very much. I love that when that comes on. Breaker, breaker, 1 9. All right, so we got red, black, red, black is classic. Yes, black and red. Black, red, two, white, black. All right, so let's do red top, black bottom. All right, all right. Let's see. Well, let's see what let's see what we can do here. That's uh. Let me go off those right there. That's pretty much our our main, special ones that are the teal. What oh, the teal was a lot more green. I had a lot more blue in mine. Still pretty though. Oh, that's wine. Let's go red, brown. Let's see what we got in here. All right, so let's look and see what red on the bottom. Let's see what this looks like from the outside. Oh, baby. My gosh. All right, let's soften up this red a little bit. We need to match. Yeah, there we go. We need to match that red. This is actually turning out to be not so bad. It almost got cop truckish there for a minute. We had to back up, spin that bad boy around, and leave town quick. When we got there almost. It was getting it was getting quick. Let's see what um let's see what no no no, no I wanna do white and black. Let's see what let's see what red and white looks like. I like when you split you know, him and Pinga done a good job splitting up these parts and stuff in the cars. I definitely like the red seats better. Definitely like red seats better. Y'all feeling the same? Yeah. What's with the air horns? I don't know. What's with lying about your name? Everybody knows you're not a sniper king. Just pretend to be one. They're actually not train horns. They're just super loud horns and <coughs> a western a western star horn and a, and a fake horn <laughs> i meant to put that one on there <laughs> thanks for reminding me <laughs> all right <clears throat> i see red and white i do like the red and white i don't know if because the black i think is just going to let's go with this man i like the red and white yes dash we can change that too Hey, what's up, K.I.? There he is, man. How are you, buddy? I'll oh, see. You can even change the headliners in his sucker, man. Killer. Killer. I love it. I love it. Oh, it's nice, man. It's nice. Um, 
<laughs> Don't got to tag me like that. You come right in, SPD, we're like, hey, a bunch of train horns. I like if train horns on the trucks. I don't even know you, but I don't like train horns. They scare me. <laughs> it's all in good fun, man. All right. What wait, wait, what uh, what what a red on top, black on bottom. Let's see we'll see what black bottom looks like. Black bottom girl. Oh, sorry. Eh. Eh. Why'd you got to make so many interior options, guys? Yeah, it's not cool, man. Not cool, bro. <laughs> not cool, man. I like it, dude. Good job, man. I actually kind of purposely waited for some of this. I had to go check in some and just see what we had to see if it was going to be a good candidate, obviously, for build drive. And, of course, it was. Uh, but, yeah, killer job, man. Really good. Um, I don't think this is. I'm just trying some different red, white, and black combinations here. I don't think this is going to be the winner. I just think the red is just too much. Since it's just an accent color on the car, I think it looks weird. Don't y'all? Uh, I think we can do. I think we can do dashes. I'm not sure if we can do all colors. Okay, yeah, we can. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's go with red. Let's go with white. Let's go with red up here. And let's step back and see if we like it. Make sure to hang your fuzzy dice. And your double push cubes down here. I'm oh, sorry, plush, not push. Oh my gosh. Okay. I I don't know, man. I, I'm at this point I'm I'm indifferent now. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Got to put some sheets on the bed, uh, K.I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. We went there. We went there and we won. What about black and red? Is black and red too much? We could always do a white dash. Black and red, cool. Red's on the seats, yes. I, the red's got to be on the seats, yes. I am ch I am struggling, Andrew. I'm wanting somebody in chat to be like, yes, FGG, I'm with you. Pick it and let's roll out, homie. Okay. <laughs> oh, it is brutal because they're so good. So now we got to dash. And then we got to do inserts on the dash. And then we got to do steering wheel. We got to decide whether or not we go straight up custom or. <sighs> Nace was like, pick it, let's roll. You're like the one person that says, hey, what are you driving? Because most people leave after we start driving. Why it says it's too dark. What did what did Lucy say? Lucy had an option: white and red, black dash. See, so it said white on the back here. So separate it with white, and then put a black dash up. All right, let's check it. All right, here we go. White. I kind of went with white and red before. Black dash. Inserts. We can do aluminum. We could do wood grain. I kind of like the walnut. To be honest with you, I think the walnut is kind of nice. It's actually like a pine beach but whatever it's cool stickers aww could put some stickers on here Rockway Motor Trucks National Registry alright woo look at there man can't do those because we don't have a Cummins in it how about a sticker bomb or a truck? Everybody will love me for that. Steering wheel sticker. All right. I do like the portable nav in the uh, dash. That's nice. <sighs> the dark wood. You like dark wood? I, dark and the light, actually. I like both of them. The black is not bad, but I'm... Eh, eh. Aluminum's not too bad either. But yeah, you're right, man. Dark wood is kind of bad. This is nice, man. <laughs> Just a T. <tea. laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, that's hilarious, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I have a wood grain wheel. We have three spoke brown. The only wood grains we have are like getting into the, and but the wood grains are not going to match. They're all based in like a a weirder like I don't know what that is, but it's not the same. Cecil Sims, what's up, man? Breaker Breaker One Nine, thank you there for the tip, but I appreciate it. Oh, Black Wheel, I already I was already there with you there, Captain Crutch. Yeah, the wood panel's good, man. Yeah, the red wood, yes, the yes, the 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 reddish tones wood. It does look it does look very similar. So, uh, here's what you guys were saying. I'm not sure about the filter on the side of whether or not this because it looks like it brings in right here. I don't know if that filter actually is some type of an air input for like some type of AC, but it looks like it comes in through the door right here. I, I wouldn't think that would be any kind of engine uh, filtration since it's coming in through the cab, obviously. But um, needless to say, you could do different tanks on the front too instead if you didn't want to do this big uh, filtered thing right here. Of course, you got it in all the different colors, but yeah, you know, essentially... Uh, Is it an air cleaner? But is it for the cab, Captain? Because, I mean, it looks like it comes right into the cab here. But it may not. It may go back through the firewall. I'm no truck expert. I'd depend on y'all for that. A box? You want to do the box? Okay. We'll do the chrome box. That's fine. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. Chrome box it is. Sure. I'll look for the pipes on the outside. Okay, fair enough. I believe you. I believe you. I'm just I'm just guesstimating sometimes, man. It's all good. All right, so we got a radio now. Radio CB will change all the dash around, so I don't want to do that yet. Um, we got knob choice. Sweet. Uh, let's do red. Uh, y'all throw y'all throw a liter of cola in the ground. Let's throw a let's throw a twelve pack of a cola cans, and uh, maybe an instant lunch because we just spent all our money right now. We need to insta lunch. What we got back here? Oh, oh! I forgot about those. I think it's for the actually have no idea on the box. <laughs> I got no idea what it is on the on the inside, man. I got no idea. I'm just guesstimating, bro. <laughs> oh, sweet! The heat shield. Nice, man. I was telling everybody, Kale, how I love how you pull some of your um, your interior pieces together and put all of these different combinations and stuff in here, man. It's just it's really good, man. Really good job. Ooh. Man. All right, chat. Last decision. Big holes. One. Horizontal holes for a two. Vertical holes for a three, small holes for a four. One, two, three, four. Big holes is one, horizontal is two, vertical is three, and the smalls are four. Hmm, man, that was a healthy mix, man. Healthy mix, man. I've seen a lot of fours and a lot of twos. I think that I've I've fixed the Western Star Horn. I fixed the horn. Yeah, I, I fixed the horn. Oh, wait a minute. The lights are messed up. I see it. Uh, yeah, y'all didn't help me out on that one, fellas. Looks like y'all had a choice between horizontal holes and small holes, which is interesting. I wouldn't have chose. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have coined y'all for a small holes, but I actually see a lot more fours and twos. So, <sighs> all right, man. Fair enough, there it is. All right, so I need to fix the lights up here. Someone, I can't remember who it said. 
Okay, wait a minute. Get rid of the middle four. Wait a minute. It's only three. What am I supposed to put them in the middle light? What am I just supposed to just get rid of them? Well, someone said put them in the middle and put these three on the right. Oh, you said it, but that's not what you said. Oh, we'll say it again, Captain. <laughs> Hey, Robert, I was trying not to go there, man, but you just, you just swung in the mist and took it there anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure MK1s and 2s. Yeah. Three MK1s. All right, so we're going to put three MK1s in the middle. All right, so where do the other two go? Very edges, so the very outside edges, like this? Like that? Is that, is that what we're going to roll with? Is that what we're looking at? Two outsides, three middles. Watch it wait for Chad Relay. No. Yes, that's what you want. Okay. Good deal. All right, so we're good there. We're good there. We're good there. We've got yes, yes, yes. All right, let's fix trailer up real quick. We're just going to paint it. We're not going to do anything else to it. All right. I've got a tease for our next stream, too. We're going to. I tell her you can figure it out in the day. All right, man. I'll go with it, man. No a problem. All right, so we did black. Yeah, let's just do black. Let's do black, black stripe. Black stripe's cool. This is a bar step deck as well, so if you guys are looking at this one, if you don't have it, you're like, man, I would love to have an awesome step deck. There you go. Links are in the description. So I've got truck in there, trailer. All right, so here's what the 8V92 sounds like. Oh, -ho -ho. yeah, man. I know, I know. I know the curtain's gonna be so good, man. Dude, that sounds good for the AB92, man. I, I don't remember the AB92s ever sounding like worth a flip. Oh, see, I like these old school trucks, man. Oops, not up there. Hey! Yeah, he's got all those new parts. He's breaking all them cardboard boxes down, Hawk. <laughs> That is going to be tomorrow night there, Bam. We're going to be featuring another one from Frankenstyle. He's got two that we're going to go. One is in Pro Mods, Canada, and the other one is in Idaho. So, yes, sir. Good look there as we go. Uh -huh. uh -huh. See what I did there, y'all? Hey, Kaya, who did your sounds, dude? Pretty 
quiet actually. What's up, COVID? How are you, man? Keep reaching over my mouse. I forget it's down here. It's the only reason I don't like the, the polished. Is that they do this weird thing. It's like they've got a texture issue. I think it's just on those particular front rims. It's okay. I will deal with it. It was my number one. What my number one pick. Let's, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's run our field of view up a little bit here so we can get in the truck a little bit. Let's see, let's back up. Let's roll this wheel down a little bit. We'll push it in. Robert Micus did that. All right, let's uh, I'll tell you what. Let's um we are in uh we are in, in South Idaho. Let's uh Let's roll with the old, where are we going? Where are we going? Going down to Idaho. Twin Falls. Let's see what we get here, man. We got. How about we just pull some lumber? <laughs> That's like a really good load for this truck. It's like going into Logan, Utah. Hay bales, pods, pads. <laughs> Where's that going to? I know falls. Let's go up there, man. Uh, 148 miles. Okay, cool. Whoops. I like it, man. This is nice, man. Oh, we about did it again. Now, this looks like that could be it. Six load. I think we're in the 12. We had a 12 by 2, so it's not going to be a. We're not going to be dealing with like some speed runs today. Yeah, no speed runs today. What's up, Ace? How is you, man? Oh, gosh, man. Dom's Diesel, Chrome, Rudas, or Pingus Peach? David, that's a, that's a toughie, man. I, You know, so here's, a, here's my thing. Um, I think John Rudas is a very, I would say it's an elegant truck. I wouldn't say it's crazy customized. I mean, you can do some pretty cool stuff with it, like lowered frames. You can add the big wheels to it. But it still has a certain elegance to the truck that kind of lends itself to just being it's just average not average but above average just reefer carrier like flatbed like it's kind of really versatile from the outside looks if you're really 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 looking for something custom the pingus pete is probably like the custom of the custom because it's got tons of options you know it's got air ride suspension on it um, he's got a ton of cabs stretched out like you wouldn't believe it's a different truck. It's not really any worse or any better. It's just really a different style. So it then becomes it becomes really like, what do you want? Um, and then especially uh, Captain Chaos, what's up, beautiful Brockwell? Well, looks like videos on you. Yes, absolutely, man. A lot of good work. There it is, man. Good work there, Chaos, from Mr. Captain Chaos. So it's I don't know. It's one of those things where. I think all of those, including Dom's, is just different. Like, he's got some really crazy cool interior stuff that's going on with his truck right now. He's like, I'm really digging it. Um, and he's starting to get some really nice custom pieces on his truck. But he's not, it's not as far along as Pete. I mean, as um, uh, Pink as Pete. So, I, I hate to tell you which one to get for fear that you wouldn't really like it. 
but I don't really think you can go wrong with either or. It just depends on what you really want. And you can still make Pingas somewhat elegant, but it's still not going to look like Rudis. Like it just ain't. This is different. So. <laughs> yeah. Rolling 3D9 is an option. And it's, uh, it's you know, all you get is the, uh, you get, well, yeah, you can see my videos on those. But they're different. Uh, yes, Andrew M. Yes. Yes. But it's expensive. I, I would say, here's my thing. I mean, it's nothing against the Roland 3D9 mod. Um, you could buy all three trucks and still have 10 bucks to buy something else for what you pay for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, that wasn't a Roland truck, man. No, no, I don't have any of the problems with mods that you guys have. <laughs> that one is. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Is that CR, CR Modern? One, two, three? Yes. I, dude, we use Viper so much when I first started, and that's part of the problem. I've been streaming. If you guys are just, you know, finding out about me, I've been streaming ATS for a while, and so um, it's kind of one of those things where, like, I kind of view my job now on at least ATS is to showcase what I haven't driven a lot of, and that was one of them because there used to only be Vipers and the FLB and the FLD. There was no... You know, there, there was no Chaos Shadow Walker out there. There was no Bart. There was no Ruta. So, dude, I'm loving this engine, man. This is a crazy good sounding engine, dude. I say if you're going to go custom, man, I say go to Thingus Peak and save yourself a little bit of money if you can only buy one. Save your money up. Get that one. And then if you want to get something else, get, get Dom's 379. You know, if you're uh, if you're against the Kenworth, um, what's his name? He's fixing to bring out his newest and latest creation. Um, he's bringing out the Kenworth. We might can give one of these away, Casey. What do you guys in chat think? Y'all think it's worth uh, giving one of these away, especially for all the guys that left. Wouldn't they be salty? Texas Chrome. Man. Not for what you're wanting to do. Um, and it's on the higher end of the, the it's on the higher end of the pay spectrum. So um, if, if it's what you absolutely want, um, I'm not going to tell you no, 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 don't go get it. But you can get a lot more for your money. Is what I'm kind of getting at. So. Yeah, that dude's got uh, 30 ace. I can't believe nobody in chat has said yes. That would be great if you gave one away, FTG. I guess we won't then. This is the weirdest stream ever. Uh, I moved mine around with Track IR, which is a little headset unit, and it's got a sensor up here on the top of the thing, and it, it can. Uh, it can it can decipher my head movements because it's attached to my uh, headset. Uh, what like this? Is that what you mean? I, I'm, I'm curious because that's uh, I mean that's the only thing I know this track. I look at that man, holy snakes! Hang on, hang on, hang on! Don't go anywhere. Hang on, hang on. Gotta get, gotta get in there right. Okay, hang on, man. I'm gonna get this. <laughs> well, this goes well with the 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 Mac F7. That's what you ought to do, Ko. You you gotta do like a you gotta do like a special uh, not not a giveaway, but you gotta do like a special um uh. Oh, what am I trying to say here? Like a combo, like you get the Brockway, the Mac F700, and you get the Brockway, this one. Be a nice tandem. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see. You know, we go for a much cooler night. You can turn the blues up. You can take some of the reds out, but not a lot, not too much. Makes it look cold. If you want to warm it up, add a little more red, a hint of magenta, and a lot more yellow. Colors 101 is all your primaries, boys. Okay. That's right, man, the Mac combo. It's good, man. <laughs> uh no, they're not low profile. They're they're just they're the smarties. They're but they are the they're the regular step tires, but they're the twenty two and a half inch rims. Uh whatever's in Smarties wheel pack all the way at the bottom, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diamond Rio and, and the Mac Superliner. Looks like the Mac Superliner. All right, well, we got 24 miles, and we'll be here. We'll pick up our flatbed. We'll do a salo tonight. We'll give a truck away. I uh, will. I'll. I can open up Streamlabs and see if it's working. But um, somebody do. Well, I don't know if it'll do. Do Tarmax. Somebody put in Tarmax and see if it works. Damien, appreciate it, bro. And, and no. <laughs> not surprising. Not surprising. It's so good, man. I like it, dude. I like I like that trick a lot. I like the engine, man. The engine makes it. I'm 3080 right now, David. That's what I have. Oh, viewpoint background. Oh, yeah. Is that the same one off the... The lamb sat the lamb sat nav dad I don't even think there's some points up anyway. I know Bob. I know there's only the one in the the uh, what you call it, just the room. I the uh, Steam uh, workshop. I didn't even I didn't even choose to even I was like I'm not even gonna get it. I'm just gonna pull Bart's step deck with it. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be alright. Uh, no, I went to 1080. I used to have 1080 Ti. It was a Founders Edition. Um, and, and so when I built the new one, I got a 3080. Let's see what the rev limit actually stops at. Well, that's one thing, Ozolito, it doesn't know. <laughs> How to get a 3080? Uh, I bought it in a pre built before everybody got crazy. So I still had a wait on mine, uh, but, I, but I bought it in the end of November of last year of 2020.
<laughs> Man, I even told him I was coming. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Have much of a Jake. It's really, really, really quiet this evening. Going into the sunshine crops. That, that what you want? Yeah, you have a certain boundary box that they won't let you out of. Now, if you download the the infinite camera moves, those will let you move anywhere in the cab. Uh, I don't know hot shot truck mods. I don't. I'm not familiar with that one. I don't think. All right, we'll pick this trailer up. We're going up to Idaho Falls, so we're not going to be going a terribly long distance. Um, and I'm actually going to speed it up to the morning just so we get a nice. And we're actually going to take uh, take some lumber. Okay, right, get gear first. Let's see where we be at. Let me see pull around here. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Here, this looks like a... I'm not sure what the Jake brakes on those AVs. I don't know what they sounded like. And I, I never know either whether or not this is like a loose interpretation, which I feel like most of it is unless they're like lucky enough to score some like serious... All right, so we need to back it up all the way. <laughs> Again, that was really fast. <laughs> that was really fast, actually. <laughs> uh oh, my God! The trailer must have got caught in the building. My goodness gracious! All right, six o'clock. <laughs> yeah. There used to be a big cam. What's up, Jeremy? There used to be a big cam uh, engine in here, man. It was a whoo. It was nice, man. Twenty-four grand, Josh. Twenty-four grand. Not really. I just tell people that. Um, an assortment of things. It's gonna be getting a little bit better here uh, soon. Uh, we just signed with Track Racer, so we're still waiting on stuff to get here. So I'm hoping that it'll be here very soon. Um, Still waiting on the seat and a few other little nefarious odds and ends to get here. So uh, we'll be doing some setup, like not even videos. We're actually going to do some builds to build it up and uh, let you guys check this thing out. It's going to be awesome. I'm really excited about it. But um, it's been an assortment of builds up over the years, man. 
uh, upgrading steering wheels at a time, upgrading rigs at a time, monitors at a time. You know what? Like I just went out yesterday and just like bought everything in one fell swoop. So it's just my, my little, it's my project hobby. The streaming takes care of it uh, with uh, thoughtful and wonderful donators and sponsors of the channel, all that good stuff. I mean, you know, it's a, uh, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty good. I only, I only really set out in, in streaming my streaming career to you know basically if this could support the habit at first you know I was like well that'd be good and I got in it and I actually really enjoyed it um, and said you know well I actually like I like and meet people I like talking with people I like making friends with people um, if anything being a being a bright spot in the day especially depending on if it was a bad one uh, but uh, but yeah I mean it's been fun so I actually just stuck with it man kept doing it. Oh yeah, speaking of which, oh you know what? And yeah, the stream labs don't even work. Yeah, give it. <clears throat> Alright, I'll tell you what. How much we got? Oh, we only got 160 miles. Alright, tell you what, let's do 160 miles and then we're gonna guess a number. Uh, Josh, I have the NASCAR wheel, but it's on the Fanatec, uh Fanatec wheel base. The CSW. Sorry about that, Sean. Uh, no, Josh, it's not a Southern Trucker. No. No, I had this one built by a, uh, a buddy of mine. It's uh, I haven't done a full-out review on this because I was going to save it for the, for the rig, but um, it's got a custom built-in carbon fiber extension shaft, and it's uh, it's fit and sleeved perfect to go over the Fanatec, uh, Fanatec shifter, so... Yeah, I, I had to I had to get mine a little different than than the way Southern Trucker does his, but it was a good friend of mine, so it was even better that it was a friend. Ah! Oh my gosh, where's where's my? There it is. I really need to fix this trailer of mine. That's what I really need. Of course it is, there's a leak there. <laughs> uh, Mickey Poirier, how, how, Poirier, is that right? Poirier, Poirier. Uh, gotta have a graphics card and you just gotta be able to play it all on Ultra, everything. Well, uh, Alan, dude, I, I mean, listen, man, I'm, I'm not paid by them to say uh, that it's a good PC. I wish I was. It'd be awesome. Um, but, you know, that was the first P uh, PC that I had. And, and it, you know, uh, the second one that I bought was also digital store PC. And, I, you know, I... I did some pictures on it. Um, I didn't really like go into a full out, you know, kind of showcase of it. I wanted to wait. I wanted to wait till I did everything um, and had my setup like in its complete form, cleaned up, everything pretty much ready to rock and roll. And then the deal with Track Racer came on, and I was like, well, shoot. And then I thought, well, they're great. This will be like a week, two weeks. I'll have everything here. I can start working on this. And then, little and behold. You know, this is about the time that everybody decided decided that they wanted something um, to spend their stimulus checks on. That all this stuff went away, and so it's like, well, here we are again, waiting on shipped items, and so it, it put me back a long ways. Uh, but with all that being said, I love it. I love the PC. Um, I love the build quality, man. I mean, the price for a pre-built for what I got. I really honestly couldn't complain with it. It was no different than anyone else, and I'd already had experience with that other PC. Three years, no problems. Um, of course, I babied it and kept on it myself to kind of keep things clean and uh, well organized and put together. But, um, I mean, I, I, yeah, man, they're good, dude. What's up, Rebel? How are you, man? Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm sorry about that, man. Mr. Feeney. my bad, dude. I can get I can get a little cab uh, cab crazy, man. I just get in there and enjoy driving in the cab. <laughs> uh, 
Digital Storm PC. Well, we know that's a lie, Joselito. You like that sound? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you're here, man, don't go anywhere. We'll give one of these away here at the end of the stream. So once we get our donation, uh, oh, my gosh, once we get to our destination, we got 160 miles. Once we get out of here and get on the, uh, get back on the clear the clear uh, road here out of, uh, back in Idaho Falls, we'll be good to go. Uh, this is Detroit, Lisa. Yeah, so he's got um, he's got a few different ones in there. He does have some cats in there from the Robin Icus uh, sow. Oh my gosh, I was stomping on it. But yeah, so we are using the AP92 from Robin Icus. What I found out. Um, but he does have the 3406, he's got the 3406B, I believe. There's the uh, Cummins M11. Um, but this by far is probably one of the beefier old school sounding engines. <laughs> uh, you had a question by Justin, sending a message of the group. Uh, it is not responding, but he's seen chat. Uh, I'd give him a little bit, Billy. So here's the thing, everybody, um, and I hope there's not a language barrier here. Um, basically, in Jest Mods, you join the group for the truck that you actually own. And if it's if you don't know what that is, I would send him a message just to double check and ask. Um, but essentially, all you need to do is, is message him and say, hey, I need to get into that group. He uploads <clears throat> the updates for that group inside of it. So you don't get into the group unless you actually have the truck that you've bought. Um, and so it makes it pretty easy on him. He doesn't actually send messages out. But I would give him a couple days. If he doesn't, Billy, send him a message. Say, hey, man, just checking in. Hadn't heard back from you. Go from there. I mean, he's it's a side gig for for, um, for Jess, too. He's got other things that he does, and it's not his full time either. So same with me. I mean, people send me messages all the time, and sometimes I just, I just can't get to them. I just can't. Not at the time I have. You'll guess the number, David. I know it sounds dumb, but I don't have a better way because I don't have Nightbot joined up with this. I usually just type it on my phone, lay my phone off to the side, and then either someone will either guess it or I'll go for like three minutes, and then uh, whoever's the closest to the number without going over wins. It's, it's like literally it's simple, uh, but the giveaway on there is not working. Streamlabs Stream Elements does not have it, so I'd have to revert back to do a night bot. And I just didn't want to add another bot to the channel. Like, I, I think sometimes, like, I don't mind bots uh, in channels as long as they're giving away helpful information, but when they feel like they're just constantly spamming the same things over and over, like, every, like, two minutes, then it gets a little bit invasive for me. I'm like, eh, okay, I can deal with that, you know, seeing a bunch of spammed stuff in there, you know what I mean? <laughs> eh, hit the Jake. It's not that exciting, Naster. Yeah, it's more like probably should be a lot more manly than that, but eh.
as we drift into the passing lane but not going fast enough to get out of the riding lane bit damage on the truck too. Are you supposed to yeah put eight ball in before that? <laughs> oh the hater build. Is that the uh, the customized Peter build? Is that what that is David? I think, it's, uh, I think they just sound good with the uh, with the windows rolled up. I think it sounds nice and beefy down here. Yeah, the hater build. It's uh, I'm not sure where the hater came from, but it's a uh, it's a uh, Viper's Peter build with some extra added customizations or some things taken away and like kind of reworked a little bit. I think. Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought it was, David. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the eight ball man has been pretty much on point. Let's see who, let's see who be texting me. Who who that be? Who that be? What's up, real? Well, you just made it here just in time for the giveaway. <laughs> oh, it's got a custom shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sean, I agree, man. Dude, this is some really good stuff, man. Um, you know, there's uh, a couple of things, you know. Um, you know, a couple of things, I guess, when we, you know, when these payword mods, we really didn't have very many choices for stuff. And I, I actually alluded to this in our in our last live stream. Um, so if you're hearing this for a second time, sorry. Uh, but uh, one of the one of the things that I think has has been very interesting uh, in this journey through payware mods, because really ATS is the it's not the first one to do it, but it's the first one to do it. I think probably on a lower end sim scale market. You know, ATS is not a big winner player. Microsoft, X-Plane, all these guys that are like simulation-minded games, flight sims and stuff, they've been charging payware, they've been charging prices for payware forever. And those planes and the stuff that goes into those, you know, it's, it's you know, except those planes are, you know, 60 70 80 $90, and some of them are going to be $100, um, you know, easy by the time you get done with it. So I think paying 25 for a truck that you're going to have for the rest of the duration of ATS, which if ATS is any indication, will be for a very long time. So $25 is not a bad investment, and we're waiting on, whoop, nah, he's coming quick. I said we'll pass him. Um, but, um, um, oh, hang on, what was I saying? Where'd it go? Oh, yeah. Uh, but the one good thing is we got a couple of guys came in and really upped the bar. Uh, Roland came in, upped the bar from what the truck should, what it could look like. Uh, he charged what he wants to charge. People pay it or they don't pay it. It's like, okay, that's your prerogative. You do you. Um, and people don't like it. Some people hate it. Some people love it. You know, and that's the good thing about this. You're free to do whatever you want to do. Um, and so, but he came in and what he did was he stepped up the game. Um, and he did things a different way. Uh, and he brought something new into the mix that challenged some of the other modders. Uh, and then, so therefore, to compete with that, they all have to up their game. That's why I tell you guys, like, it's always great, even though it may not be the state you want or may not be the DLC that you want. It's always good when SCS does this. Take a chance. We've got, uh, we've got Sir Odd, um, uh, Coben in here with us. He's a great America map guy. Um, so whenever uh, SCS puts out a whole new slew of resources that are already pre-built and in the game, all he has to do is point-click place. Um, 
that's going to be better than him having to spend hours on hours on hours on days creating all these custom stuff and then charging it, you know, uh, feeling like he's got, you know, days and months into the work and got nothing to show for it. Instead, it kind of helps speed up the process where we get updates faster and all this stuff. So, but anyway, I say all that to say it's always good because, you know, even like Dom came in after the rolling and the end step of his game, if he's going to have a 379 that was going to like compete with some of the stuff on the market, um, it had to be good. So, ah, that is a stop sign. My bad. So, <clears throat> a long story short, it's just cool to see other people step into the market because it's going to, at some point, it's going to challenge you to create, uh, you know, not necessarily better stuff, but you're going to have to be com uh, competitive, which I think now we've got Roland 3D9, Pinkas, Rudas, Doms, like all four of those trucks, I think are extremely good in their own way. It just like I said earlier, it comes down to a personal preference of what you actually like, which I think is really cool. So. What's up, Josh Williams? <laughs> Favorite nighttime dealer is. <laughs> Fair enough, man. I'll take that title. <laughs> so, but that's gaming in general, you know? I mean, you don't want one game to completely dominate the scene. I would love for another game to come in here and challenge SES um, and give them a, a very hard run for their money. You know, I would love for that to happen. I don't know that it will, but I would love for it. the uh yeah i wish the jake break was a little louder I've reworked my braking distance and it needs to probably, probably needs to go up a little bit more. <laughs> I tried to make it a little bit more realistic on the braking and I may be going too, a little too far. <laughs> it says no. Yeah, I, I agree, Sean. I, the blade's a little slow course now of course now with his Facebook groups and not having to send things out single-handedly to every single person that bought something from him I think probably helps him out it's got to I didn't think that was a, a lift Idaho Colorado for realism I ah, see I don't know I've never been even <laughs> Oh, God, sorry, I've got the hiccups. Oh, this is terrible. I don't I don't want to say it doesn't matter. Um, I think Idaho's good. I just don't think it's big enough. I think it, it's a really good, like, I think they did a really good job with it. It just, unfortunately, like, it fell on flat ears because everybody was wanting someone else, something else to come out. Uh, oh. Um, what's up, DJ? Blade so truck good. Hey, it's all right. Um, I think some of the guys like it's their jam, so they like it. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of the record. I I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's all right. It just. I don't know. To me, from the, oh, I do a lot of my driving. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I, I think I think so, oh god, I think sometimes um, I, I get I get stuck sp spending too much time like in the actual truck. So 
for what it's worth, I think a lot of times I don't really care what the outside looks like. Like I'm still pulling a trailer, you know. Man, it's like speedy backup in this truck, dude. Good Lord. What's up, Patrol Gaming? Patrol, Patrol Gaming. Eat bread. It's a good. Yeah, I don't have any bread on hand. Oh yeah, the must have on the short. Of, I know. <laughs> That's kind of nice, actually. All right, let me get my phone out. Uh, because I always write it down, and then I'll tell you what you got. What you guys got in here, and I'll go off the number that we have. Uh, actually, viewing right now. All right. Make sure you can't see that. Okay. All right. So I put it down. So I have in my possession a number that um, you guys need to pick from. So on the numbers from 1 to 215, put them in chat. One number, one choice only. Do not put multiple, multiple numbers in there. Um, and the closest to the number without going over, unless you guess it, is the winner. All right? So you got three minutes, and I'm going to start in five seconds, but go ahead and put them in there. And please, only one number, guys. One number. One between 215, all right? Between one and 215. If you, yeah, if you put multiples in there, you don't have to put it. Don't spam it in there, Rip. Just put one number in there because we'll scroll back up and we'll go go back through it. So, well, you don't have to buy it, Fernando. That's the great thing about the worlds we live in. You don't have to, you don't have to buy it, man. You can just wait for those official DLCs to come out because unfortunately they're not coming. They're not going to do trucks, or at least not not like this. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm burping so much. Goodness gracious. He already put 50 in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, he said 99. No. He's been saying. Yeah, he's been saying 99 the whole time. All right. I have one person in chat that is one off. <laughs> I don't have anything, Martin, to take a drink. <laughs> Sorry, man. 160 miles rip. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> Seeing my viewership go down. For some odd reason it's cute for the e-girls to do it, but not for a trucker. <laughs> oh. <gasps> All right, guys, w one more minute. If you want this truck, there's 194 left, which had one through 215. One person is within one. And hey, we just need to, uh, uh, we just need, once I reveal the number of mods, we need to make sure that you guys are, uh, make sure that y'all are around to make sure we uh, can pick the, pick the right one, make sure nobody has done, done two of these. All right, so you got 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds to get your last numbers in there. Don't put any more in. Only one, num only one number. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all got to put one in there. You can't put two different ones in there. I see some of y'all starting to, starting to veer off your gut instincts. <laughs> all right and time oh my god all right let me scroll up and make sure that this number was only put in once um so all 
there's what it was. So if uh, if Eddie Mazda three only put in ninety nines, he did put uh, ninety nine in multiple times, but he only still put ninety nine in. So um, looks like Eddie Mazda, you might be our winner, my friend. Ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety nine. Yes, I think you're it. Alan guessed one hundred, but he'd already put put in one seventy five. <laughs> Well, you can't go. You can't go over it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I passed the hundred already. And uh, I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought it was who was at first there. I thought uh, uh, Robert had guessed ninety seven. Shauna both put a ninety seven in as well. So I thought you guys. I was like, uh oh. And then Eddie came in there and was like ninety nine. I was like, oh. it's kind of like the guy that swoops in and bets a dollar. <laughs> Oh man, uh, have I had the shifter? What shifter? This the the one I have now. <laughs> it's a terrible, man. <laughs> it's right, man. I know. Actually, we're going to be ending it right now, anyway. So I'll, I'll get out of y'all's hair with my my hiccup. So. Um, Anyway, congrats there, Eddie. Uh, Eddie, if you uh, are you still here? are you still here? All right, so Eddie Mazda, if you can, uh, are you in my Discord? Probably one more, one more. Well. If Eddie's here, we got to be here to win. If he ain't here, Oh my God! If he left, man, I, <laughs> this is, oh, 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 my head hurts. <laughs> my head it hurts. Why? Why do y'all do this? Oh, uh, all right. Well, I would typically go to my second place, peeps. I'm not, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, all he had to wait, Fernando, was two minutes. Like, two minutes. That's all he needed. All right, all right. So I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him an opportunity, because Fernando's sticking up for him. Maybe because Fernando, Fernando needs to hurry up and, and load into his second profile to claim his prize. All right, so we've got 187 in here. So we'll do a new number. All right, what if he wakes up tomorrow? So Eddie, if you're watching this tomorrow, send me a message on Discord. How about that? Um. All right, let's try to find an active uh, number. So if you guess a number, stay, because you might actually be the winner. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, one through, oh, my gosh, 188. All right. Um, okay. I know. Well, we typically just do a redraw. That's typically the best way to do it. All right, so uh, between 1 and 190. Give me your best, guys. One number. No no doubles. 190. Guess them up. Uh, 
Okay. All right. We have a second winner because somebody's already guessed it. Oh, my God. (laughs) 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 Oh, so Jaskaran? Jaskaran? Is that right? Bangu? You're the winner. (laughs) I've already guessed it. (laughs) Goodness gracious, man. That was fast. (laughs) But everybody's like still chiming in numbers, like can we get get my number in? Yeah, he already guessed it, so he was the first one to guess it. So yeah, just Karen, Bagu, you are the winner. So uh, are you in my uh, are you in my Discord? If you aren't, here it is. Send me a message uh, in there. I'll get you linked up with uh, with Ki. We get you a code for the truck. And then if Eddie does, I'll give one Eddie too. Nah, I know Apple. <laughs> I know him. Oh gosh. Yeah, are you there? Are you there, uh, Jaskaran or Jaskaran or? I hope you're there. I'm getting a weird feeling about it. I'm telling you, man, tonight's stream's just been weird, man. Oh, he's here. Okay, good. Uh, send me a message there on Discord, bud. Um, and then we'll uh, – um, and then I'll get you linked up with KI. Um, but, yeah, just make sure that you uh, – just send me a private message on there. Just right-click my name on Discord. And, um, yeah, that's it, man. That's all you need, all you need to do. But it's like, yeah. I know they sound bad. They're just, they're aggravating. I actually got these hiccups today. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Thank you. Well, and and also, we also had some guys have been donating over the past week and stuff for future giveaways. So those guys have kind of paid it forward in advance. So um, let's chill the cookout. I should really be good. I did did actually do... uh, what was it? I actually did uh, chili cheese sausage dogs today. They were good. They were good. They were good. They were good. All right. Let's uh, let me go get some water. And uh, yes, so I'm thinking I'll be back Saturday. Um, I'm hoping. Um, I've got a full day Saturday. Um, and so I'm I'm, ho- I'm hoping I'll either be back Saturday night or be back Sunday night. Uh, one of the two. Tomorrow probably won't stream tomorrow. Um, I've got a few other things that I need to do, uh, and then because uh, it's going to put me off late getting back. Um, Saturday's going to be a full all day thing. Um, so I'm on. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to shoot for Saturday night, but I can't promise it. So I'll just I'll say that we're going to shoot for Sunday night instead. If we do Saturday, great. Um, we'll be doing this uh, again. So I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all the uh, warm welcome, uh, warm wishes there for the uh, the hiccups. Appreciate it, guys. Um, but yeah, Javil. I mean, sorry, not Javil. Sorry, I saw her name up there and blanked out there. Uh, Jazz Grand Bangu, just make sure that you uh, hit me up in the Discord, join that, and then you can uh, uh, just send me a message and say, "Hey, I'm the guy that won." Uh, just tell me what I need to do, and I'll get you linked up there with uh, with Ki Man. So. Um, and that's it. So anyway, you guys have a great one, uh, and then we'll uh, hopefully see it. Oh, and by the way, if Mazda Eddie or Eddie Mazda, if you guys come in uh, later on, you've realized that you won this truck. Um, yeah, come on, and let me know, man. I, 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 you guessed it right on with a. So anyway, oh, did you feel? Yeah. So <laughs> Sunday, yeah. Hopefully no hiccups. So anyway. You guys, take it easy, man. I will see you guys here in the next one. I'm going to go ahead and get these things taken care of. And uh, and then oh, I'll see you guys in the next live stream. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>